Hi guys, thanks for watching today's makeup tutorial featuring this full face of Primark makeup. I hope you enjoy the video and if you do, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Today I'm going in with the PS Primer Water which preps skin for makeup application. Smells quite nice. Yeah, just let that dry and then I'm going in with the double coverage matte, matte foundation in the shade cinnamon which is definitely too dark for me um, so I'm gonna have to lighten it down a good bit this still is quite dark I'm just gonna blend this out Probably could have used less as well. I think with these kind of foundations, less is definitely more. And the foundation does look really, really full coverage. It is still too dark for me, but I'll have to do that color liquid concealer. This is medium coverage in the shade Toffee and it just looks like that. Down the side of my nose. I am using a lot because it is so dark. I feel like I need to use more concealer to lighten this colour. So I'm just going to Then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and I'm just going to spray this with some other prep spray and then just going to go underneath my eyes and blend out the concealer. Concealer looks quite good, it's not too drying. Definitely adds good coverage and definitely brightens up the under eye. Two pound is a bargain on this set really, really nicely. Um, so next I'm going to go in with the PS Nude Addiction Palette which is three pound. Like a fluffy brush and I'm going in with this shade right here. So I'm just going to pop this as a transition shade and just popping this into my crease. And then I'm going to go back in and mix this shade and this shade together just to deepen it a tiny bit. And then I'm going to pop this again in the crease. Slightly above the crease and blending it out. And then I'm just going to go in with that shade alone now. And I'm just doing the same thing. And just deepening that colour. I don't want it to be too dramatic, so the more you blend it out, the better, really. Just like so. Now I'm just going to go in with this shade here. I'm actually just going to use my fingertips because I feel like these kind of colours apply a bit better when you use your hands. And I'm just going to pop this all over my lid. All the lower part of my lid. Making that darker brown shade. And just deepening that slightly. This is the PS Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Gold and just need to take the packaging off. This was £3.50. I'm going to go over that glitter colour just with this and just applying this on top. Just 
Let me pick up the colours and they So I'm going to go in with a bit more. I can still see that shade underneath, but it's it's just kind of moving the product around a bit. Do you know I'm just going to try and leave it on and see how it sets. And then once that has dried, I'm going to go back in and deepen the eyeshadow a bit and add a bit of highlight on top of here, but until this dries, I'll start off on my brows. So I got this 3 in 1 Brow Precision Pencil and Powder and it has a brush, a pencil and powder in it. Carve out my brows. My eyebrows are quite defined naturally anyway, so... Don't need too much precision. It has the powder part which just connects just like this. You just unscrew it and it looks like that. So I'm just going to pop this on the middle part of my brow. I'm just taking the So Su lashes and popping them on. Um, so next I'm going to go in with this palette again, the PS Nude Addiction palette. And I'm just taking an angled brush I'm going to take this orangey shade and pop this underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to take the angled brush again and just take this darker shade mixed with the one above it. So it's like the black with the brown, or the dark brown with the black. And then I'm just going to pop this really close to my waterline. I feel like this helps with the eyelashes as well because the eyelashes are so dark. It does just tie the makeup look together. That makes it slightly more dramatic. Next I'm taking the Bronze Queen Matte Bronzer from Primark and I'm just going to pop this on my cheekbones. And just to contour. This colour reminds me of the Benefit Hula Bronzer. It's just such a nice shade. Then next I'm going in with highlighters. So I have two primary highlighters. I have the bronze highlight in the shade Summer. Which looks like that. Oh. And then I also have the Nudes Body shimmering dust which I think is a really nice product but it's nice used as a highlighter so I'm going to mix these two together the bridge of my nose and then bring it down slightly but just not as harsh and then just popping a bit there do it wherever you really want to glow. I do like to be quite shiny, so wherever you want a popping highlight. And then I'm just also going to take a little bit more and I'll blend that out in a second and pop it on the bridge. I'm just tapping it to get off any excess product and then blending it. I'm just taking the Primark lip pencil.
Then I'm going in with the PS Lustre lipstick in the shade Toast. And it has a really nice shine to it, this lipstick. And I, to be honest, I use it on a day to day basis and it, because it is quite moisturising as well, so it's nice to have a bit of a tint and a bit of a moisturised look. Personally, I don't think this smells nice. I like the smell of this one, but this one I'm not really a fan of. To be honest, I'm quite impressed with how the makeup turned out. The foundation actually settled in a lot nicer than when I originally applied it. I feel like it's definitely not as drying on my skin, especially once you use the setting sprays. And to be honest, I think you could apply this on top as well if you want something just for hydration. I don't think you necessarily need to buy the primer and the setting spray. I would just go in with the primer water on top as well. And yeah. Hi guys, thanks for watching today's makeup tutorial featuring this full face of Primark makeup. I hope you enjoyed the video and please go like and subscribe. Thank you.